Um, but at the time it was panned because people just assumed that what had already been done was the best thing. So they were just copying it and nobody was actually thinking about it and going, yeah, this is awesome. Like we just scratched the surface. Is it really likely that this is the best we can do? Of course not. That's you know, so, so I cool. just, That's yeah, cool. you know, and then so, you, so and on then, that then, though, what what iteration of Neural and Olympic RX are you? Like, just say, uh, is is this the one that's at market now? This is the fifth yeah, this iteration. Is like iteration five, yeah. And wow. they're in. Are you happy with five? How are you, how are you sitting with yeah, you? They're they're legit, actually. That that's, that's the thing is like there, there's a point. My dad always used to say because his mentor uh, in in art, a fellow named Ben Plugger, said this that it takes two painters to paint a painting: one to paint it, one to tell him when to stop. And, and, you know, and I am, I am sometimes guilty of that. Like the, the fifth iteration is good. I can just chill out at this point. Um, and the, the neural is actually, AI. yeah. Neural isn't really at the fifth iteration. It's more like at the third iteration, but the Olympic is like the fifth iteration. And, but, but they're both like, that's good. I can chill out there. They're, they're really great. They do what they're supposed to do. And I just, I need to stop tinkering with that and move on to the, which I've already done, moved on to the next stuff and tried to, you know, been working on other things. Actually, interestingly enough, the, the one that I've been working on now is longevity. So, oh, yeah, and that's, no, you know, com- please tell me about yeah, it. well, and that's, you know, using L-carnosine and your lithin A and a couple of other things and, and different lipids actually, because you, you want to get different effects and in your body, the, the body, anybody who works with physiology in any capacity or biology in any capacity and isn't constantly in awe is doing it wrong. Because yeah. like you you can't you can't actually start drilling down on this thing and go like, what? That's incredible! Like it does so many things on so many levels, and so I I've when been you say know, lipids, iron. What what what's you know Brian Johnson, the most measured man in the world? Fifteen percent of his calories come from olive oil. Um, when when you say lipids in relationship to longevity, are you are you? It's olive oil, and then are you looking at Caprylic acid, and is there a third one that you? Uh, yeah, actually, so for longevity, yeah, there's no caprylic in it. There, there is some olive oil, and there's some other oils too. Um, so, and it, it, it'll be sometime. I'll probably start demoing it and doing testing on it sometime next year. I've already got the formulation worked out. Awesome. Um, so now it's just a matter of really kind of dialing it in. Because again, you know, I mean, it, it's great as it stands, but I really want to see just just what it can do. And before I, before I, you know, cause right now the wizard sciences is it's kind of funny. It's because we have five products, right? Four products for people and one product for animals and that's it. And, you know, we'll be releasing some, some new stuff shortly, but it's, uh, it's just kind of funny because they're all products that really work and that's why they're there. So it's, you know, it's kind of like, it seems simple and seems kind of boring as the site goes, but they all work, right? So the common you thread know, C60 between all five of your products. Yeah, uh, all yeah, on those it is right, and so some of the new stuff that's coming out, it you know that that thread will not be there um, because even though that's th- that is actually the best modality I've seen to use for just kind of enhanced health and longevity um, so far. But th- there's some other things that I think are really brilliant, like molecular hydrogen. It's great. Uh, methylene blue, same thing. Great. Methylene like blue, but isn't there some controversy on the methylene blue? I, I was looking at this just the other night. Especially, the yeah, new- actually, the- there is. Yeah, yeah, there, there is, and I and I think people are using it. I, I think the quantities that people are using, like I, I'm actually, I've been working with it for you know, quite a bit now, a couple of years, and what I've arrived at is is literally, you know, like 0.25 milligrams is a is a good daily dose, mm. which which is an insanely small amount, um, like truly, truly insanely small. And now, now you can go all the way up to like 2.5 milligrams and again, crazy small dose. Um, but it, it doesn't take a lot, right? It, it has, it has a pretty pronounced effect and, and you can get it. And a lot of people would argue that that's like a, such a small amount, it wouldn't do anything. Maybe, but you know, it's not doing it by itself. When you put things in concert with other things, um, y- you oftentimes get potentiated effects, right? You know, um, y- you use theanine with caffeine, you get a very different effect than if you just have caffeine, right? And so, one of the things, and this this gets back to what I was saying about looking at things artistically, right? Once you have the degree of proficiency 
where you can actually come up with a formulation and nail it, that's just iteration one, right? So then you start going, okay, well, how can I optimize this? How can I change the minimum effective dose? Because really in a perfect world, the things that we would take would be so infinitesimally small. We wouldn't be hammering back big things. Like I've looked at, at Brian Johnson's uh, blueprint and uh, you know, I applaud the degree of uh, <laughs> kind of rigor that he's approaching it with. Uh, personally, not how I want to live my life. Um, but you know, I mean, he's he's measuring things out, and and I do I do agree with him that if you take the human component out of the decision tree and just say this is how it flows and just follow that, it's much easier. But by the same token, computers do that incredibly well. Uh, I was not born as a computer, so I actually kind of prefer to do things just in a sort of more organic way. Um, you know, it's it's November. I enjoy eggnog during the holidays. I'm going to partake. You yeah. know, there's, 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 I actually, life is meant to be lived. And it's just, if the threshold is just like, how many years can I put on the clock? How many times can I go around the sun? Well, you know, you can just freeze yourself in a cryostasis and uh, just stay there and then be thought out a long time now and you would have won the game. I don't think it's about that. I think it's about, you know, like human connection and interaction. And it, it's- um, That's the art that you spoke about again, isn't it? The, the... Yeah, it's it that's the beauty right that's i mean that's the thing is like if if you were a very old creature but you were entirely by yourself it wouldn't be that fulfilling no. you know i think you i think you'd want to have you know uh friends and compatriots and you know people in your life that you can interact with i mean that's that's the juice right that's that's what it's all about it's not just about some specific metric like i did this it's more about who you did it with and how you did it yeah. and that's kind of the beauty 